So I was just walking down King and I bumped into a follower. He's trying to make a left or a right hand turn. Right. Look at those guns. Look at that, man. That's sick. Fucking sick. You doing the intermittent fasting? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, nice, dude. How long have you been doing it for? Maybe a month now. That's fucking sick. You're leaning down That's nicely. Good. Yeah. You like, like it? During my job in the morning, I just do it. I eat like an apple. Okay. And that's all I eat. So I fucking drink the coffee, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sick, man. What's your name? Will. Will. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you. All right, well, have a nice uh, drive tonight. Thanks. All right. We'll see you around. Yeah, good to bump into you, Will, man. Sure. Keep, keep the games up, dude. For sure. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. All right. We're just taking this Tesla for the weekend. Going to feel for the electric light. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Jesus. I can feel my heart, my, you know that fucking feeling you get in your stomach yeah. when you're going down a roller coaster? What I love about it, it's so smooth, man. Like, it's just, yeah. the reaction time is so quick. That's real wheel drive, too. Wow. You feel it, you can smell it gripping the road, actually. Yeah. Smell the tires burning a bit. <laughs> wow, it's fun, dude. And when you take off your foot off the gas, you hit the regenerative braking, so it's a different experience. Ah. Yeah. Do you want to do a, do a Snapchat? Sure. Just out here with my brand new Tesla. Fun to ride around here in Toronto, but you know what I care about a lot more than materialistic things? Not knowledge, the environment. It's going now. I'm with my mentor, Dan Go. You gotta have mentors. Ideally, five mentors. <laughs> and the only thing more important than having a mentor, knowledge. 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 <laughs> so what's going on, guys? We're uh, doing some rest day cardio. Is it a rest day for you, Dan? It's a, it's a rest day. Rest day. It's a rest day. Barbecue we're, day. Barbecue day. We're doing some walking, and uh, we're actually gonna hit up um, a southern barbecue place. Yes. It's about 5.30. Yes, and uh, this place is called AFT, A-F-T. It's down on uh, Queen Street East, and they call it AFT because it stands for about fucking time. About fucking time, really? About fucking, yeah, it does. That's two it. restaurants, okay, so two chefs yeah. have talked about doing this restaurant for the longest time, and then when they finally did it, everybody's like, what do we call it? About fucking time. Oh, about fucking time. Everybody's just like, it's about fucking time. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's sweet. So it's supposed to be my first time. Um, and I'm gonna try and not eat 3,000 calories in this meal because I'm supposed to shoot in a few days. So we'll see if I can have like a nice 1,200, a modest, modest 1,200 calorie meal. Yes. We'll see if that's possible. Um, and actually, Dan is one of the guys that really got me into uh, morning rituals, into journaling. It's been so helpful. So, um, do you have any tips on morning rituals or journaling? Uh, I would say start small. Always keep your ritual in the morning the same and always make sure that you have at least two or three activities that you do that will enhance the rest of your day. An example of one of them for me, I love, I won't say I love meditation, but meditation really starts my day off right. So I do that for 15 minutes every single day. It's a non-negotiable. Find what that is for you and then make sure that you do it every single day in the same way as much as possible and make it a part of your routine. Sweet, man. I take that. I take that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. For me, I just started with like, I haven't done the meditation yet, but I do, I'm doing a lot of the journaling, writing out my day, what I want to get done, goals yeah. I have. And that journaling has been so effective. But the yes. next level is to start implementing meditation um, and so on. 
Yeah, yeah. Honestly, the thing is, is that uh, it's kind of just like one habit at a time. You don't want to make sure that uh, you take everything all at once. Don't try to do meditation and try to do journaling and try to do all this other crazy stuff. You focus on one thing at a time. You do it for three weeks, 21 days straight, and then move on to the next uh, habit inside the morning that you feel is going to benefit your life. Honestly, it's nothing but sweat. This guy's, this guy's wearing pants and I'm sweating my ass off. Right? <laughs> oh man, okay, sweet. Well, let's see the menu. How does this work? Right here. Um, so here's uh, the weekend BBQ, which is awesome. You can either get a platter for one, which is like two BBQ choices, or a platter for two. That's a little bit oh, robust. Awesome, man. Well, I mean, just, we talked about this before. So this is what Greg does before he goes into uh, into a restaurant. He actually he actually sees the menu before he goes, so he can plan out what his meal is going to be. Mac and cows. Yeah. So yeah. Can, so I didn't do that today. Meal. I was we like, no, wait. We we yeah, we did talk about the chicken. Yeah. We're talking about the chicken. Dark, dark chicken, so. less fat. I'm gonna get BBQ half chicken with the two nice. sides. That's that's my jam today. That's sweet. BBQ half chicken. Yeah. You get two sides. What sides are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the fries. Nice. And then. I'm going to do probably the coleslaw. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, so I'm going to get the half chicken, dark meat. It's got good ratio of fat to carbs, or, sorry, fat to protein. Good amount of protein, not too much fat. Yeah. And it's massive. It's huge. They don't skimp on the portions. They don't, you know, BBQ places don't skimp. No, no. If they, if they do, <laughs> if they do, you're at the wrong BBQ place. You yeah. should go in the back, slap the chef in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm pumped, I'm pumped. Look at that meal. Oh my god. Fries, beans. This hot sauce is hot. Friend Chris Walker. Mm. He talks about the hotter hot sauce you can handle, mm. it's an indicator that you have high testosterone levels. Oh really? Yeah, people that can handle really hot food, they have high testosterone levels. Okay. Typically, typically. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start eating like the hottest shit. The hottest stuff. Yeah. Alright, so we finished the meal, it was absolutely fantastic. Looking at about 1,300 calories between the, the half chicken, the sauces, the fries, Yikes. a little bit of beans. It was um, amazing. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So I have, I could try and hit like another 900 calories today, hit 22, get a, like a 45 minute walk in this evening, and I'm in a deficit, I'm leaning down. What's your, what's your cutting number, Dan? My cutting number is around 2,000. 2,000, yeah, I, I can do about 22, 2,300. Yeah. If I'm, see in the summer, I walk an hour a day. Yeah. In the winter, I walk four to six minutes a day. Yeah. So in the winter, my cutting number <laughs> is 19, <Yeah. laughs> 19 yeah. in the summer is 22. <laughs> And like 300 calories at a, at a lower calorie intake is a huge amount. Yes. Like massive. Yeah. Um, so I got some great protein in there. Woo. Gonna hit, yeah, another 900 calories today. I think, and I think we burned a little bit more because it was, it was so, so hot. hot. It was so hot. Oh my oh, God. Oh man. It was crazy. Crazy hot. Yeah. It's massive. Look at the mangoes. Very nice mango. <laughs> the veins came out today. <laughs> In the meal. I didn't tell you this, but when um when I was walking to my car, yeah. some dude, like some skinny skinny dude, looks kind of like a drug dealer, is chilling on the street, and he's like, uh, "Yo, you want anything, man?" And I, I was like, "I'm all stop to talk." I'm like, "No, nothing. I just train. I uh, eat right." He's like, "Okay, man. Like, I used to like do fucking like D ball, like, like 12 weeks, put on like 60 pounds of muscle." trying to get back man he's like you sure you don't do anything I'm like no I don't even take any supplements um, and he's like cool man I'm like yeah check me out online and he's like yeah cool and so, like the funny thing was when he showed me the pictures when he was on juice like he didn't really look impressive it's yeah. like if you're gonna take steroids like if you're just trying to build a good amount of muscle don't take steroids yeah like you know what I'm saying yeah it's like if you want to become an Olympic body like, yeah you're gonna have to but like he was like like marginally well we were talking about this before and it's the fact of you know you can get fast results so let's just say that guy was like super scrawny gained 60 pounds and then boom he was like you know let's just say he was like less than impressive 
but what I don't think it was 60, said 60 okay. pounds of muscle. It wasn't. Yeah. Probably cut that by half. Yeah, it's like 30. You know when you know when, you know when guys like talk about their number of, yeah. of women divided by three. Divided by three. <laughs> <laughs> so so with this guy, I mean, obviously it got like you know super fast results, but. Honestly, I, I truly believe the faster it comes, the faster it goes. Mm -hmm. And you have to find something that's like more sustainable. Mm -hmm. You have to, it's more about the long road, it's more about the journey rather than it is about like the actual destination. And sure, he may have gained like 30, 60 pounds, but what happens after that, you yeah, know? He, he, he goes off. He goes off. And then he loses it in What happens when your cycle's done? Yeah. You know? it's, and also his probably testosterone's naturally lower now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's <laughs> just the way it is. That's the way. Yeah. It's about 9.21 p.m. Sunday starting the week off right you got to shoot on Wednesday or Thursday um, so I'm gonna get some more walking in to help uh, induce a larger calorie deficit I'm gonna walk for about 45 minutes then later tonight I'll have like a chocolate bar maybe a bag of pop chips or maybe some cheese quesadillas we'll see I'm gonna hit about 2200 calories I burn about 2700 I'd say I'm so hot right now. It's boiling. Vlogging in public. Time to hit Metro, motherfucker, for some pop chips and green and black chocolate. I haven't done fat yet, surprisingly. <laughs> That's a pretty bad scenario. We're thirsty, trying the Lime Perrier. Great to, uh, oh, it's a comedy show. Great to blunt appetite. We should go watch the comedy show. If we didn't have all the cottage cheese. <laughs> Shay's loading up on cottage cheese. Oh, so good. So refreshing. Actually, maybe I'll grab a chocolate in there. A chocolate. Hi. Just the two chocolate bars. Can you make that uh, yes. Uh, I can throw it in there. Can I throw my chocolate in there? Yeah, sure. A no bag. It's for four dollars. Sure. Do you have chocolate? No. And you're gonna pay me nice. Pizza. Pizza. You need those? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. Come on. Don't forget your. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. One. Yeah, so I just ate an apple 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna have my chocolate bar 570 calories or so It'd be good. The apple is delicious though. Time to get my chocolate bar Mmm, so healthy And so fat <laughs> Let's see I got President's Choice ones broken. It's weird um they don't have chocolate almonds right now. I got this one, regular milk chocolate, which is really good. But actually, I kind of like this one by Green and Blacks, which is like, has delicate flakes of angles of weird sea salt. It's good, I find it more satisfied with the saltiness. Um, or do I do Present's Choice ones that she's like, damn it, I'm just, what am I doing with my life? Too tired to film. Oh, okay. I'm either gonna do one of these ones. This one has like a hot chocolate taste. We'll see. I'm gonna do President's Choice and eat it. Yum. Little plate. Okay, President's Choice isn't as good. It's okay. Hmm. Gotta do green and black tonight. Oh, the chocolate bar is so good. 100 grams of milk chocolate. Oh. Probably finish the night off with some pop chips later and call it a day. So actually guys, I've just been doing a Snapchat Q&A for the last 10 minutes. I'm gonna do some more. If you're not, if you don't have me on Snapchat, add me, GOG9, GOG9 on Snapchat. Um, very sweet stuff. All right, I'm topping the night off with some pop chips. So I had um, the meal, which was like 1,200 calories, 1,300. An apple, we'll say about 1,400. Uh, a chocolate bar, we'll say almost to 1,900, 2,000. Uh, and then some pop chips, so about mm, 2,300, a bit more. 
like, like a bit more than 22. So we hit 2300. Still not bad. But I did an extra like walk, so we're good. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that vlog or vlog. Hit the like button if you liked it because these take a lot of effort for me to like pull my camera out and be like, yo. So if you enjoyed the video, like it if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Um, if you have not already taken the Kino Body Physique Survey, the link's right here. You're going to find out what's best for you to focus on based on your physique type. And also, when you go through the survey, there's a free bonus at the end. So check that out. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Bye.